All right, we're out here at the Rotten Range. I've got myself two pieces of ballistic fiberglass. It is a UL3 listing, and it is, it's is—it's been uh, construction glued together. Two of those plates together should be able to stop one of these uh, little 556s. Five, five, so I, I don't remember what these are. They're probably like a 50, 56, 55 grain, somewhere in there. We're gonna see if it stops it. Probably not, because I hit the edge. One fish just confirmed, 55 grain. Full metal jacket. The first bullet hit the edge of this stuff. Did its job, but not the way we wanted it to. It did, but it did slow the bullet down. That next one hit down here and was stopped by this. It's flying pretty fast. We are close, but that is going in with a lot of power. It's not, that's not a, that's not a simple task to do, but you can see where it bulged that out quite, quite substantially. But I'd sure rather have broken ribs than I would have uh, a bullet or fragments in my chest. Now where we slowed it down, it hit this, and somewhere that bullet is in there. So even that glancing blow that it made right here, right on the edge, it still slowed it down considerably where it did not penetrate through that ballistic uh, field turf box. I think we need to try some other stuff. What do you think? Yeah. All right. There was a company that gave me access to a couple panels of this. I don't have a ton of them, but I try to make these for the boys in blue. Uh, they got a special place in my heart. Our trusty old 3030. Another 170 grain. I can't remember what this one is. If this one's a Hornady spear. I can't remember, but uh, there's 170. So we're gonna get that big 170 with a big old fat flat point. That's gonna be our first. Then we're gonna hit it with the hot core. And then we're gonna hit it with 160 grain red rocket FTX. Okay, one other benefit we have, we have these two sheets sandwiched together. Now, the first sheet is causing the mass expansion and really, and it, it, that stuff is tough uh, and, and super dense. All these layers inside that, I don't know, epoxy, whatever, that resin, ballistic resin they've got. It's actually just started up like this. That was number one, two, and three. They've already been hit and compromised with this one. Um, but it just starts that expansion. And I don't know if you can quite see it, but you even get that little volcano effect going on over here. It's denser here, and you can feel where you've had that delamination. But as that's doing, it's basically destroying and taking the energy out of that bullet as fast as it possibly can. And, and there you go, you, you can see the lead kind of melted right in there, a little bit of jacket. As it delaminates, it slows it down, and then that bullet's already been expanding has to try to push through that second plate. Now let's take another look at that. Now you can see that energy is still strong enough that, so it hit over here on the first hit. There's a little bit of a hump right there. Second hit, similar hump. Over here, it was already humped out. And so that second hit hit where it's already been compromised and still, it, it pushed it out a little bit more. But holy crap, stopped it. All right, a little bit of jacket right there. A little FTX action right there. Oh, yeah. Now let's try 22 out. I shot it. How many times? times? Huh? I shot it 14 times, but that doesn't mean I hit it 14 times. <laughs> I think you might be right. <laughs> I think you had a couple little flyers, but uh, really not that you wouldn't expect it. It did trap them. But not even a challenge for that, is it? No. So what do you have to say for yourself? Booyah. <laughs>